Hello and welcome to WordPressProblem.com. My name is Matthew Shepard, and if you stick around, I'm going to show you how simple it is to create a database using GoDaddy hosting. Um, the reason why we create a database is, well, there's a lot of reasons, but the main reason is, is for transferring websites and files and stuff like that. Um, not only will you need to transfer files using file transfer, but you'll also need to upload a SQL file to the database to make it all go back to normal. And how you do that is you simply go to your GoDaddy hosting, or if you're using cPanel like HostGator or any of that, it's pretty much the same steps. You would just launch your hosting and once we get into we'll see GoDaddy's a little different so we're gonna go into another page here it's gonna ask me which hosting account to manage I only use one so we're gonna just manage that it's pretty simple here we're just gonna go over creating a database for your website and I need to do that now anyways because I'm in the process of uploading all these files into my main um, domain name which is hosted with this account and give me one second I'm gonna go ahead and get this rolling right now it's still loading okay and as you can see uh, this is very simple once you get into your GoDaddy details I'm gonna go ahead and go to databases and once this screen pops up you're going to add a database. Okay. Very simple here. So you want to name your database. And I'm going to just come up with a name here. And then I usually just take that same name and I would just put it here. And then I will do a password. one more time it's all sensitive here so you gotta uh, read the requirements and then do your password and then make sure you remember it that's always important and then let me do it one more time to confirm and there we go see it just says it matches and the next thing you want to do is hit OK now this is going to pretty much start to create a database for you and it takes up to 15 20 minutes on average but it could take up to 24 hours for that database to be all set up and once it is you'd probably go to your last page if you have multiples um, or you can just go to the next um, to the next you should be able to find the database you just created and once you find it it's probably going to be uh, showing a symbol here saying that it's loading and it's going to say pending setup so give that a few minutes and I'll see you on the next video once the pending setup goes away and then I'll show you how to add a SQL folder to the database which will make your WordPress uh, transfer files all good to go. Alright, see you on the next video.